Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim Blackblade and welcome to a brand new vlog series featuring the Static Blow build. Now before I start, I would like to apologize to you guys if I haven't really uh, made any videos of late. You guys know the drill, I have work and you know, uh, when, when, when I have a lot of projects and I have a lot of work, you know, uh, I have really, you know, a small time, you know, it, uh, when it comes to gaming. But um, enough about that, let's get into the build proper. Now the build, uh, the class that we are going to be using is the Shadow class, and we've gotten some uh, melee uh, physical damage nodes over here, and then we coordination. Uh, we get some, uh, we've gotten some life nodes over there, uh, some more uh, melee nodes over here, ending with quickness. Uh, we did go up since we are a crit build. This is a, this will be a uh, powerful route to take because of the uh, crit, uh, the increased crit, uh, the uh, because of the uh, increased uh, critical strike chance and multiplier, uh, ending with cold hearted calculation. Uh, we did get some. Uh, um, power charges over there and some some life nodes over here uh, specifically the drinker for the um, uh, two percent physical attack damage uh, the two percent life leech and then uh, we've gotten the uh, some more life nodes over here and then we went uh, over here to get some uh, critical strike uh, multiplier ending with throat seeker uh, we did get the eldritch battery and then we went down over here to get some mana and life nodes and then we went down over here to get some mana regeneration and ending with uh, a point on energy shield here but I may have to uh, remove that one uh, uh, when, when, when I get into further levels and when our mana regeneration you know, is already enough or sufficient enough to uh, handle the arctic armor. Uh, we did get the uh, blast radius over here uh, just to further increase the radius of our you know st static strike and then we've gotten you know uh, some more uh, power charge nodes over here uh, we did get the uh, deep thoughts and then some uh, life uh, life nodes over here and then we went over to the left side to uh, get some increased aura, aura, <laughs> aura effect Ending with uh, sovereignty, then we did, we did uh, go down over here to get some more uh, life over here. On, we are now on the Templar skill tree. Uh, we did get the elementalist, some more life nodes. Uh, so uh, we did we did get the precision to uh, just just to further increase the accuracy rating of our attacks. Uh, simply because we are focusing uh, on top, so our accuracy rating uh, may go uh, may go down. So uh, you know, getting the precision uh, will be a good idea. And then we, we've gotten the Sanctity and some Mana and Life Regeneration nodes, uh, Mana Life, and then finally ending with Mana Regeneration and Life. Uh, now with further levels, since this is a crit build, uh, I am planning to get uh, some more, um, you know, uh, Crit chance, uh, crit strike chance nodes over here from the uh, for for our dagger uh, ending with the night stalker, and then I may go down uh, over here to get uh, some more critical strike multiplier with daggers uh, ending with Alder's touch, uh, which will be really good because to take because of the fact that it increases our critical strike multiplier with daggers by forty percent. So that is a huge uh, um, critical strike multiplier uh, in my op opinion. So if you're going um, a dagger build, you know, uh, and you're specifically going with the crit build uh, you guys really have to get the daggers touch of course passing through uh, critical strike chance and multiplier nodes uh, over here and uh, critical damage and increased critical strike of 30% uh, which is actually pretty uh, which is actually pretty good yeah and uh, after that maybe if I get my life into 4.2 I may not get you know some more life nodes over here but then again you know it's always a good idea to have a really good or a really huge life full life full life full anyway uh, so I, I may get all of this um, you know life nodes over here and then of course I'm also thinking thinking of getting the unnatural Kong for the plus one to our uh, maximum lightning resistance all right so that's it when it comes to our um, uh, to our uh, skill tree let's get into our gears uh, we are going to be using a uh, a dagger for this build uh, any dagger will do but you know if you can get the DPS up to 200 and above and probably get some attack speed in there uh, actually I was actually uh, split into two with this build at first I was actually using a, a claw for this one uh, simply because of the fact that my claw actually has a huge DPS in there at uh, 304 uh, compared to 230 on my other dagger here and a uh, a you know a min and a min damage of only 58 but the minimum damage of my uh dagger uh claw over here is at 119 so this is a pretty uh good uh claw in my opinion so i'm i, I don't know i'm actually pretty split if i go claw uh with this build uh, i am going to get you know some more uh claw 
um, damage nodes uh, over here and I probably you know I and you know I'm probably thinking of getting some more um, power charge uh, simply because the crit hit chance of the claw is actually uh, pretty low compared to the um, compared to the uh, the dagger build of course but yeah I'm still weighing my options over here uh, let me know in the comment section down below, below which you think would be uh, best whether whether the dagger would be uh, much more uh, okay to or much more better to take or uh, <laughs> whether the dagger is you know uh, much more better to better route to go uh, rather than the claw uh, for our helm we are going to be using the rat nest for the increased uh, global critical strike chance and the attack speed uh, for our gloves we, of course we are going to be using the Maligar's virtuosity uh, for our ring uh, amulet we are going to be using an onyx amulet for the life uh, mana regen and then uh, just one resistance uh, for our other rings we are going to be using a life ring uh, with a huge mana regeneration and a um, a uh, just one lightning uh, resistance but that's okay because I've already maxed out my resistance uh, through other parts of my gear uh, for our other ring we are going to be using a uh, two stone ring with a huge life and uh, a huge cold resistance over there and then uh, for our armor we are going to be using this one simply because this is the only six link armor that I have no I, I actually have two the other one is thread based um, uh, with, with with a high, a high life pull and the two resistance uh, for our belt, you know, life and resist, and for our um, boots, we are going to be using a uh, a life three resistances and movement speed, and we are going to be using a shield for this one uh, simply because I wanted to min max my life and then my resistance. Uh, if you want, you know, you can use um, uh, an energy shield based uh, shield if you want to uh, to compensate for your uh, mana uh, simply because we are going to be using the Arctic armor for this build and. Um, that's why you saw a lot of um, uh, mana regeneration nodes that I took. Uh, that is, of course, to again uh, to compensate for the uh, Arctic armor for this build. Now, uh, the reason that I, we are going to be using the Arctic armor for our physical damage mitigation is um, our build is specifically concentrated on the top part of our skill tree, and what that means is we are not going to be getting you know that much armor um, um, on any skill node. Uh, you can, however, go down over here if you want to to get the iron reflexes for some uh, to further increase your your armor or you may want to choose the route of uh, you know some 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 uh, gamers out there are actually using uh, this route the acrobatics uh, the face acrobatics and then they go down over here to get the under scale um, yeah you, you may want to choose to go that route it really depends upon your preference uh, but for me you know I'm going to be getting uh, I'm going to be using the Arctic armor for this build all right uh, for uh, for what's attached to our uh, static strike uh, static strike we are going to be uh, attaching multi strike uh, faster attacks increased critical damage uh, power charge on critical and uh, critical strikes um, increase critical strikes now uh, once I get all of the uh, important dagger nodes over here and then some more dagger nodes over there uh, I may replace the in the increase uh, the power charge on critical and the increased critical strikes that 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 of course depends uh, if I could get the uh, static strike to uh, the critical strike chance of the static strike to 50% but if I can't I may keep one or the other it really depends but what I'm going to replace there is either an elemental um, an elemental uh, damage uh, support gem or a uh, or a life leech it really depends on the situation and for our auras we are going to be using herald of ice uh, attached to clarity herald of thunder and reduced mana and for other skill gems we are going to be using uh, assassin's mark attached attached to cwdt and increase area of effect and uh, of course our armor will be attached to enhance and empower um, for other skill gems we are going to be using reduced mana uh, attached to discipline uh, that's to further increase our overall mana pool uh, to compensate again for the arctic armor it's really hard to uh, get a mana regeneration you know uh, as high uh, as we can just to compensate for the um, you know uh, for the mana drain of the uh, arctic armor but it's definitely worth it uh, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, and for our movement speed, we are going to be using the Whirling Blades and of course attached to faster attacks. And for our final uh, skill uh, uh, set set of gems, uh, we are going to be using CWDT, Enduring Cry, Immortal Call, and of course increased duration. Uh, now, uh, our, when it comes to our, um, our stats, we are doing uh, quite well. Uh, our uh, our start static strike is already at uh, 7.4k, uh, but, but that increases to around uh, 9k once our 5 uh, power charges are up. 
stop and the uh, critical strike chance goes up until probably 50% I believe uh, when the power charges are up. Our critical strike multiplier is at 428% which I expect to increase once, I, once we get all of the uh, dagger nodes over here. Uh, and uh, what else? Uh, for our defense, we are not doing good with armor and we have capped off all of our uh, cold, uh, fire, and lightning resistances. Our chaos resistance is hitting at negative uh, 60%. Alright, so let's get into some gameplay! Come on, come on, come on! Wait, I forgot to activate my uh, arctic armor. So yeah, uh, when it comes to the mana regeneration, um, 226 is already good enough but uh, you know we're still at level 71 so we still have um, you know a lot of levels still uh, levels uh, 85 so um, that would you know probably increase and if that increases uh, I may you know I may remove some uh, some mana regeneration nodes over here it really depends so that we could allocate it to somewhere else of course there are some more uh, life nodes over here which uh, which you know is also a point of interest and then of course the unnatural call all right enough talk let's get into some gameplay uh i haven't done any maps with this build i have only ever reached um what is going on i am getting some of these things uh i have only ever reached 71 you know uh today so i haven't done any maps yet uh, i'm still going to start to do maps once i get my level into probably 75 or level 76 uh it really depends what the hell did i just get what was that Oh, hold on. All right. Uh, yeah. So uh, it really depends on um, you know how much level. Uh, no. Um, on on you know whether or not I'm killing at a very good rate or not. All right. So as you can see, the build has been doing great. Uh, when the five charges are up, our uh, damage is at uh, nine nine point three k. But of course, uh, with further levels, that will uh, increase. All right. So let's go ahead and find coal. Oh yeah, uh, the uh, I did you know hang the auto sacrifice for uh, a little bit, uh, the auto sacrifice build. Uh, but I will be going back to that you know once I uh, once I finish this one. It's just because that I got a little bit bored with the uh, spectral throw build. Um, no offense to the spectral throw lovers out there, uh, but yeah. But I will be uh, returning to that one uh, once I you know once I get to finish this one, which which will be you know uh, pretty fast. I I I, pr I presume or I assume. Because the build has been working quite well uh, up to this level, of course. But uh, past this, uh, I'm not exactly sure because the uh, ooh, all right. Uh, because the ultimate uh, test for any build is, of course, if we can do you know maps uh, up to level or high level maps. It really doesn't um, matter. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I could uh, do a level 74 map with this one. Uh, it really depends, of course. Alright, so I'm wasting time here. You guys are, uh, have seen enough gameplay. Uh, let's get it. Alright, so uh, there's a good set of um, elite pack over here. Uh, let's just go ahead and find coal. Where is coal? Okay, this is coal. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, I don't have any uh, granite flask. Oh shit, hold on. Alright, so let's just see if we can kill him without the granite flask. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Alright, so we were lucky there that he did not land that blow and he did not land any crits. Alright, so let's go ahead and teleport to Piety and get and give you guys a Piety kill. Hold on for just one second. Alright, so here we are and let's uh, let's go ahead and kill Piety. Yeah, I thought I'd you know show you guys you know some more gameplay, so I didn't uh, I didn't start the video by killing everyone. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's go and kill Piety. Oh, God. My accuracy is really bad. Yeah, and, and that's also uh, one of the problems that I'm encountering. But uh, I'm hoping to fix that soon. Probably get some more dexterity or change up my gear a little bit. You know, just to add, you know, some more accuracy. Alright, come on, Piety. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I hope that she doesn't kill me. Come on. My am I am I critting really low? Yeah, that's probably because of my uh, the DPS of my uh, well. Oh my God! What the hell? What the hell was just happened? Anyway, uh, that's probably because of the low DPS of my dagger. But if my you know, but if my dagger would probably be a little bit higher, uh, probably on the three hundred mark then you know we'd be doing you know much more uh, much more damage all right so that's about it for this episode guys so let me know what you what you guys think about the build in the comment section down, down below and thank you all so much for watching if you guys enjoy the content please like comment and subscribe and as always i'm gonna see you guys on the next part of my video
Have a good one. I'm not the building the comment section down below so that I can do the proper changes. Uh, what, do you, what do you guys think about the build? Will the build work on higher map levels? Or uh, basically just not be able to run in person? Anyway.